Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Swish Culture. My apologies for the delay in videos, but your boy Swish had to be out of the country on some personal matters. But I'm back with a new flow, and we'll see how that goes. Make sure you hit that red button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 10k subscribers and keep this channel growing. Andrew Wiggins is now vaccinated and will be able to play in the Warriors home games. If you weren't aware of what's been going on, Wiggins has been avoiding taking the vaccine and pushed back against the mandate by the state of California that all local business employees need to be vaccinated. He's even requested a religious exception, which didn't work out as there is no religion that outright bans getting vaccinated. I mean, it's not like they had the word vaccine around when these religions were created, but that's a rabbit hole I'll say for another day. This is kind of silly in my opinion because players from other franchises outside of the state aren't required to get the vaccine. While I myself am vaccinated, I think everyone should be able to get an opportunity to make the decision that is right for them. Some people are more cautious than others, but usually it's the less cautious among us who are the problem regardless of getting vaxxed. Now, obviously getting the vaccination helps, but with at least three strains other than the original having been developed, it is becoming less and less effective. But there's more to the Wiggins deal. To be fully vaccinated takes 14 days, so this means that under normal circumstances, Wiggins wouldn't be allowed to play in any games until around October 17th, 14 days after becoming vaccinated. Well, 14 days after we got the news, which is today, but truth is he might have been vaccinated earlier. This is assuming he took the Johnson & Johnson single dosage. Anything else will take five to six weeks, considering his other options have either three or four weeks in between the first and second dose. What California has done, however, is allow unvaccinated players to participate up until October 13th when the mandate will begin. This means that despite not being fully vaccinated, Wiggins will have some time to play with the team before the regular season games begin. Speaking of the team, both Dre and Steph have voiced their support for Wiggins whichever way things play out. So here we are guys, today we see the Warrior squad suit up for the first preseason games. This is exciting. We've seen most of the young guys participate in the summer league. And best believe they'll be getting some looks for the preseason. While it's tough to say what Kerr has planned for the lineups, it is safe to say he's going to try to get our guys warmed up for the season. No, we won't see Steph playing 35 minutes, but what we will see are likely guys trying to develop some chemistry and seeing who plays well together. This is really the last opportunity for some guys to really show what they're capable of doing and try to secure more minutes on the floor come the regular season. Tonight we get our first look at players like Porter Jr. and Bielita in a Warriors uniform and the expectations are high for these players as they have to provide a supporting cast for Steph that is viable to win a championship. Without Clay, the team will still be much less than what it was before, but it is far better than what we had to work with last year. Not to mention, by the time December rolls around, Clay will be ready to go and it's a whole nother story at that point. We're expecting to see Kaminga and Moody continue to play at a level similar to what we saw in Summer League. Wiggins, if he's feeling better, as you know, he missed a scrimmage due to not feeling well, possibly due to the vaccine, though I can't say for sure, should show us some improvement over last year. Now it is interesting that he wasn't feeling well, and the news comes out later that he has been vaccinated. Now the two might not be related, however, you can draw your own conclusions. I really hope that he's ready to go for preseason so we can see these different lineups that Steve Kerr is sure to have. My expectations are that we will start Steph, Poole, Wiggins, Draymond, and Kevon Looney. Wiseman is expected to be 100% after October 15th, so they will decide at that point when he gets to be back on the floor. This is it, fellas. NBA basketball, and better yet, Warriors basketball is back. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and again, subscribe for more content. Till next time, swish. A block so hard, sweaty gets served. Call me Lonzo Ball, bitches get swerved. Usually, I don't get down with these girls, but tonight it's so my mind. So I might eat these words I just wanna watch